Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here at the Connecticut Science Center, joined by Eva Ryle. Good morning. Good morning. So we're talking marshmallow science today. Yeah, kind of <laughs> to kind get of. us to a goal. Yes, yeah. well, we we can eat the marshmallows afterwards. Okay, good. All right. Um, but before we eat them, we're actually going to use the marshmallows to help us figure out the speed of light. Interesting. Do you know you could do that? Did not know that. Super easy. All we need is marshmallows. Um, we need a plate. We can put the marshmallows on. Um, a microwave and a ruler. Okay. And that's it. Look at that. They're all right here. Yeah. Okay. So real quick, the way microwaves actually cook food is they use microwaves. And so they're, you know, these wa invisible waves that uh, move at the speed of light. Now your microwave spins, mm -hmm. which helps heat up the food evenly. But if we stop the microwave from spinning, we can find the spots at the tops and the bottoms of these waves where all the cooking happens. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to use those marshmallows to figure out where those hot spots in our wave is. So uh, room temperature, miniature marshmallows, plate full of them. Yep, flat, flat, flat. level. Um, and we have those little ramekins because we don't want it to spin. Okay. So go right on top. Perfect. We're going to go 20 seconds. 20 seconds, yeah. Let's start. All right. So again, super easy, uh, to, really easy to try at home. And again, you get like s'mores after. Oh, per perfect. <laughs> uh, so 10 seconds. How was your fourth? Great, actually. Oh, yeah, it was oh, up nice. by the lake. Hope everyone's fourth was really great. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, three, two, one. All right. Now, what I need you to do is find some of those spots where the marshmallows Ooh. have started to cook. Yep. Yeah, you see how they're oh, kind of squishy and big? And then here's one here. Yep. There. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. So you're going to measure in centimeters because we're doing science. <laughs> Between the soft, puffier ones. Between two soft, puffy parts. That's where it's cooking. Okay. Um, picking these two. And you can try. There should be more than two that yeah. you can measure between. So I'm, I'm getting around kind of on average like six centimeters. Between, yeah, when you be between two. measure a couple. Yeah, yeah great. All because right. our wave pattern is going to be consistent. All right. So now we have our uh, wave. We can figure out our wavelength. Okay and we need the frequency of the microwave. So it should be on the back. Do you see the frequency? Yes, uh, 2450 megahertz. 2450 okay. megahertz. And we said our wavelength was six centimeters. Mm -hmm. So that's between here and here. So we're gonna multiply it by two to get a full wavelength. So okay. 12 centimeters. 12 centimeters. And actually we're gonna go to meters real quick. Okay. So I'm gonna have you do, we're gonna do 0 0.12 meters okay. times. Yep. And we have to do a little bit of math here. We're going to add on some zeros. So it's going to be two, four, five, zero. You ready? Yep. Six more zeros. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. All right, what'd you get? One, two, four, five, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't want to add any more zeros. If you turn it sideways. Oh. There we go. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right, so you got two nine four and then one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight we're going to do our significant figures awesome so we got 2.94 times 10 to the eighth and the measured speed of light is 2.99 times 10 to the eighth meters per second so right. that is really close for marshmallow math marshmallow <laughs> math on a sunday morning yeah oh, this is impressive so we just calculated pretty close to the speed of light um, and made a snack. <laughs> and it's so using a microwave. Yep. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, so not doing anything with the speed of light, but also kind of involving bubble-ish kind of things. Yeah. There are things happening here at the Science Center. <laughs> it's a horrible segue to talk about bubble mania. <laughs> I was wondering where you were going, but I know, I was, I was it ended well. Um, Casey Carl is coming back um, with his bubble mania show. Um, it's always been really popular. We're excited he's coming back for the summer. Um, and so he'll be here. Uh, definitely jump online to check out when those shows are and book your tickets, though. So they're, they're every weekend through the end of July, yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, multiple times a day, ctsciencecenter.org. So that is an add-on, of course, yes. while the CT Free Summer at the Museum is happening. So yeah. uh, really cool. As you said, popular demand. <laughs> popular. Popular. Pop. <laughs> I like All right. that. Yeah. All right, Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.